Yo, my name is Isaac Newton. Today I want to tell you about my first law. But, uh, well, hang on, I need to go get it. So, the funny thing about my first law is that it really wasn't my idea. So I gotta totally give props to Galileo for stating this sucker right here. But, uh, the idea is that contrary to everything you observe, stuff tends to keep doing what it has been doing. And maybe when you were in school previously, you were taught that, uh, oh, what do they tell you? An object at rest. Tends to stay at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. And an object in motion tends to stay at motion with the same speed, going the same direction, unless acted upon by an outside force. That's a bunch of words. But I want to point out to you that this is contrary to everything that you've ever observed, and that stuff just wants to keep doing what it's been doing. Who can blame it? Because it's made of stuff. So what I mean is everything in the universe tends to do this. And this concept is called inertia. This is the fat cat law. Inertia is the idea that stuff wants to keep doing what it has been doing. And inertia is connected to mass also. So what I'm trying to say is, more stuff implies more wanting to keep doing. Wanting to not change motion. What the heck does that mean? If something doesn't want to change its motion, can we get a definition of changing motion? Check it out. I'm thinking that might be delta V, the change in something's motion. But if I take delta V and divide it by delta T, that sucker is acceleration. So that's kind of interesting. This is, um, acceleration is change in motion. So I guess when I say more stuff, more wanting to not change motion, then I guess that's the same thing as saying more wanting to not accelerate. And this will make a lot of sense when we get to my second law. But I want to point out how Galileo developed this. He said, listen, guys, you take this ramp, and it's like that, and you put a, you put a marker on this side, and you get it over to the same side, same uh, height over there, and you put a ball here. What's the ball going to do, yo? And, and then everybody said, well, I guess if there's no friction, it'll come back up to the same height. Of course, that's kind of pretend. Like, maybe not a ball. Maybe it'd be easier to put a, a truck there or something. Um, and, then, <clears throat> and then he said, but what if, what if it was like this and then it was like that afterwards? Would it still come up to the same height? And they reluctantly agreed, and perhaps you will also reluctantly agree, that if there's no friction at all, then the ball will start here and go up to here. But it will take a longer time. So that's interesting. Will it take a longer time? Interesting. I guess it would. And then uh, what if, so <laughs> Galileo goes on and says, but, but yeah, what if the ramp goes like this? Whoops. I forgot to raise it up at that side. So I'm saying that the ball starts here and will go until it comes back up to the same height which means the ball will start here, and uh, again, assuming no friction, it's going to go until it comes back up to the same height. So it's gonna be always looking for the opportunity to come back up to the same height, but, uh, but yeah, it doesn't ever come back up to the same height. So I guess it never stops and turns around, which is sort of a reasonable argument for it actually having a tendency to keep doing what it has been doing. And there are some other examples, but notice that I had to get rid of friction. So in your life, the reason you don't think Newton's first law is correct, see, contrary to everything you observe, is that we live in a world that's hugely dominated by friction. And if you roll a ball down, it eventually does stop. So this was at Aristotle and all the Greek philosophers, and in fact, all of humanity, as far as I can tell, for several thousand years believed that stuff naturally tended to stop. But Newton says, and Galileo before him, they both say stuff tends to keep doing what it has been doing. So if it's going, it wants to keep going, and if it stopped, it would really prefer to say stop. Stay stopped. More coming later. Bye-bye.